Alright, what's up guys? This will be basically all the anime figures for 2024 that I'm planning to get along with my friends who are also planning to get these specific figures. Normally, we kind of have a mix, you know, taste of ty the type of figures we're going to get. So it all just depends on how everything goes and all that. But anyways, uh, we can just get right to it because we have a lot. Uh, ironically, I only have like, I think, six figures coming this year uh, i'm planning to get more but i'm just kind of in that indecisive uh, moment of which figure i want since you know most of these are really expensive and i'm trying to go at least a thousand or if not twelve hundred dollars spending for this year for anime figures uh we'll see uh but yeah anyways starting off for january uh we have the taiho azerlane race outfit one four scale which cost about 276 dollars and this was by mimioi from amiyami and it does come with a um like an amiyami exclusive of the scroll uh tapestry for taiho and i am super excited because oh my gosh like this figure is <sighs> like, gosh this is, gonna be my, this, this is gonna be my first one four scale i know there's like alice right there in the background i think you can see her but um yeah we'll see how that goes Anyways, next up, it is a Rory Mercury 1.7 scale. Uh, yeah, this cost about 160 and this was by Kiss Q, and I got this in Ami Ami. So yeah, that one's gonna be pretty nice. I'm actually excited since now we'll have two Rory Mercury figures um, and they're gonna be two different base models. All right, next up, um, we got a Fate State Knight Heaven's Field Saber Altar, La, Altar, man, I can't even say that word. Altar Kimono version which is Bill's figure, and that costs about $146.52. It hasn't been shipped yet, but it should be coming either by the end of this month or next month. It all depends. Um, but yeah, and then along with that, Bill got a mask girl named Yuna illustration by Bia 1.7 scale. Uh, and this one comes with an acrylic, so it's kind of cool. Uh, I believe these figures are going to be coming together, so yeah, this will be a whole different video for them. Uh, and they're Bill's figures, so it's pretty cool. All right, along with that, we also got, to me and Bill, the same kind of figures is the Hollow Life Production Shirogun and Noel Swimsuit Version 1.7 scale. And I have to say, my gosh, this figure, I am super excited. I'm not into swimsuits as much as I should be, but uh, I know I got the Lena one, which is, you know, a really cool figure. But this one cost about $113.94 per figure. And we already paid, we just don't know how much was the shipping and because uh, we did it as a set, so it's going to be coming in. I think it should have arrived by now, but uh, we picked the cheapest uh, shipping proxy, so it's going to be coming pretty late. Um, other than that, uh, there's this other figure that I'm planning to get, but I'm not sure, which um, is also in January. Uh, basically, it is the Azure Lane uh, Littorio uh, Calabria uh, Aurea. I keep freaking misspelling her last part of her name, but it's a 1-7 scale. And that looks amazing. I've been wanting a character with a couch. Uh, I realize I don't have one of uh, any of my figures right now. And it'd be kind of nice. And uh, she looks amazing and green hair. The only thing I did not like was her hair. It's kind of like uh, transparent. I'm not a fan of transparent, um, you know, figures for their hair. Um, I kind of realized that once I got, I think, Panji, which I wasn't too fond of. And that, and going back with actually Noelle, um uh, <clears throat> there's a figure of her but i just did not like that her hair was transparent i just didn't like it. her mold looks good but i just wasn't a fan of it whereas this one with the swimsuit uh it looks way better okay next up february uh we've got another azure lane uh bremerton kung fu cruiser cruiser wait yeah cruiser version 17 scale and this costs about 179 dollars and 68 cents i haven't bought this one but i love the plate and i love her design it is just super beautiful and the sunglasses um really anticipating this one i might go for it although it is coming out next month and i'm budgeting right now heavily on everything since this is one i don't know if i'm getting for sure whereas next figure is the taiho wedding temptation on the sea breeze version dx edition 16 scale and I have to say, this, whew, she looks fabulous. I can't believe, I'm getting all Taiho figures, I just realized. But this costs about $180, $183.15, excluding shipping. It might be being shipped by next month, so hopefully that goes well. And yeah, uh, along with that, March, we have 
uh, Azure Lane Taiho Phoenix Spring Song Version 1 7 scale, which cost about $252.25. This is insane. I This might be my all time favorite figure uh, for personal reasons, obviously, but like, oh my gosh, the design, everything, just Jesus, dude. Even the tree itself, the texture on it, and the gold and the lamp, that's just fabulous. I love warm temperature type figures that, you know, give this kind of warmth if you guys know what i mean uh but yeah i just love it uh next up it's april and this one is the overlord albedo season 4 sobin version uh one seventh scale and this costs about 258 dollars and 77 cents this figure looks amazing i love it i haven't got an albedo figure i was planning i sold my other one which was a while back ago but it's because i wasn't too much of a fan of it uh i know it must have been different but anyways uh, i just wanted this one personally because um she just looks beautiful in this one. And I, and I kind of want an, an Overlord uh, figure for once. And, you know, obviously all Overlord figures are super expensive. Like, at least 500 or more. I know there's some that are, like, around this price. But it's not my cup of tea, if that makes any sense. Everyone has uh, a type of, like, figure that they want. Um, but, yeah, upcoming, it's May. And May, we got nothing. There's nothing on May. Uh, which is kind of you know good because i don't want to be purchasing every month at least 200 dollars a figure uh, but in june we do have uh i think two figures yes two figures they're both bills and the first one is the fate samurai remnant berserker uh musashi miyamoto uh one seven skill figure which costs about 194 dollars and 25 cents um it's pretty cool that bill got this figure you know we don't have like this kind of figures actually or unbox these kind of figures so it's pretty cool uh, I'm so jealous that he got the John Alter one, which I freaking love. Um, anyways, he also got an Ark Knights uh, and his dress version, uh, one seven scale, and this costs about $106.84. This is by far the most cheapest figure I've ever seen in my entire life uh, for this kind of like mold. It looks pretty cool though. Very, very good. And I hope that base does come along with it because that red carpet looks really good for the color um, grading on that specific figure, especially her little, what is that, a rose on her? Uh, oh no just like a part of a red um helmet i'm get, i'm assuming i'm not sure I, i'm not too sure about this character yet so yeah i'm still trying to learn about arc knights i've seen the show but i i've not fully gone in depth even in the video game i've barely played on it next up is the solar rain uh toe project uh and this one is a one seven scale figure uh by far this one is alex's he is planning to get this one hopefully i'm not sure if he's like for sure getting it since it cost 257 dollars and 25 cents but we'll see uh it seems really good and it seems to fit um alex's type of figure so hopefully we'll get that uh next up it's july and this one i'm i'm like really debating on getting this figure uh it might be possible that i might get it but it's an azure lane um bremerton ver uh, anniversary hugging pillow version i don't even know why it's hugging pillow but anyways it's a one four scale She's laying down $256.55 in Ami Ami. And I just love the mold of this. It looks you already know. I don't I have no words to say about it, but I love the boot design, like of you know, her boot coming out of her, you know, her feet, and it's just amazing. Um next up August. There's nothing on August. September. Uh Alex might be getting this Genshin Impact uh Ayaka figure, uh, which is a 17 scale and you know, manufactured by Apex, which is super cool. Uh and it cost about $151.97. This figure looks amazing. I am super surprised the fact that um, it looks this good and by its pricing. I absolutely love the base as well. So I, I totally want Alex to have this figure since I know he loves Ayaka. All right, next up, October. Uh, next is, oh yes, I believe, I think this one was Bills. Yes, the Azure Lane Prince Eugene final lap version. 1-7 scale uh and this is the race version I, yeah race version and uh, yeah this one looks again very very clean uh very huge and big and yeah i absolutely love how this one looks it's completely beautiful um i totally would buy this personally <laughs> if i actually wanted this but yeah it costs about 161 dollars and 37 cents and it's pretty good pricing for it's like details on it we just have to wait and see how it looks in person uh next up november nothing on november december uh alex will be i'm pretty sure he is for sure trying to buy this it is a my team romantic comedy snafu yukino 
uh, light novel volume six cover uh, illustration. And this is a one six scale and it cost about $135.98. By far, this figure looks super beautiful. I love Snafu and you know, I just, w I was actually tempting to get this, but honestly, I feel Alex deserves this more um, to have than me because it's just so simplistic and beautiful. And if you guys have not seen the anime, I swear I highly recommend it. It's so beautiful. If I saw this in middle school, I think I would have been a much more changed person than I am now. Uh, but yeah, anyways, going on, we got some bonus figures, which I am not 100% sure that I might buy, but it's possibly. Um, but it's gonna be basically the One Piece Monkey D. Luffy Portuguese D Ace um, 20th limited version Mega House uh, figure. And it's basically Ace and Luffy when they first meet up in uh, Marine Fort. But it looks cool nonetheless when, the, like, that tag team. Holy shit, it looks. Ooh, the fire, the flames, and Louis Straw Hat looks so freaking clean. I kind of really want this. You know, I already have Zoro and Yamato for, like, the Mega House figure, so I'm kind of debating if I should even buy this one. But it cost about, let's see, how much did it cost? Oh my gosh, I didn't even put the price, but I remember it was at least $200 plus. Oh gosh. But it's so clean. Uh, next up is the Monkey D. Luffy Gear 5 version, Portraits of Pirates. And again, it's really expensive. It's so beautiful though. But I have to pay that up front and it's not like a pre-order where once it's ready, you know, you could uh, purchase it. But right now, I just cannot pay like $200 right now. Uh, along with that, there is the Monkey D. Luffy uh, Toa Animation Collection Gear 5, um, which has like all the famous moments of gear five when luffy is fighting kaido and it's super clean uh planning to buy that one hopefully but it's, it hasn't been released for pre-order yet so i'm not too sure about it uh going on i might for sure buy this azure lane um charbidius Char oh my gosh i always freaking forget her name but it's the red chamber of healing 17 scale and it costs 135 dollars and 20 cents at the moment and I might for sure get this since it's a cash. And honestly, that furniture literally looks like the furniture in my room. So that I think that would perfectly blend in for the kind of furniture I have, which is very dark colored, like dark oak. Um, so it's pretty clean. I might actually buy this now. And lastly, we got the Nevo, uh, Nevostro illustration by Kishi Yasori, 1-7 scale, which is a figure bonus exclusive limited edition. Uh, and it costs about $147.21. And this one was just something I saw in Amiami that recently got announced and you know I feel like I'm missing some illustration type figures which would be clean to have uh, in my collection since I know I have the Yami figures in here and uh, I, think I have something else but I think that's it yeah just the Yami figures yeah Yami figures that's the only thing I got for illustration so I thought maybe I should buy this one uh, other than that I think that's pretty much it um for the figures this year i know there's like a lot more coming out and i know they're going to be announcing more so who knows there might be new things adding along the way but yeah uh mostly i'm just going to be having six figures so far this year i might add up to eight to ten hopefully if the pricing doesn't go too crazy uh but yeah that's pretty much it anyways um overall you know the figures that i've been collecting hopefully i guess i have more space i know i I feel like I don't have space, but I can still make space somehow. And I might have to get another glass detail uh, and I might have to put it somewhere else. I don't know how I'm fitting in here, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. You know, um, you know, keep watching my videos. It helps me a lot. Uh, and also subscribe. It, it really helps me too. I'm so close to a thousand subscribers. Holy crap. It's been like, what, two years since I've been uploading these kind of figures. I know I haven't been uploading like crazy, but... Um, streaming has been helping me you know get along the way and just to show that i'm still active and you know still going to be uploading just these figures are really expensive and i'm very picky in which ones i would like to be actually collect anyways hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah peace oh, i got something i got five. Oh, yes yes yeah.